Hey Johnny, how you doing today? Not good, man. What's going on? My truck got broken into. I need that seat for the a Mariner. Nearly ninety thousand dollar watch, so don't go anywhere. But let's start with this one right here. Simple, straightforward, easy. This is the watch right here. If you were to buy this watch anywhere else, you're going to be spending nearly sixty thousand dollars. I'm ready to move it. Wait, a gentleman come in, trade in a rose gold meteorite Daytona, seventy to eighty thousand dollar watch. He traded that in for Starbucks. So we have a client that was wanting me to source an all gold Speedmaster with a green dot. Totally gorgeous watch. I mean, one of my favorite Omegas. Getting this one ordered in, I had actually reached out and put out in the dealer networks that I was needing one, needing to source one, needing to get a quote. And one came in at 26,500. It was uh, from Anna from Luxury Bazaar. Hers was not a 2024, it was actually a 2023. I quoted the client 28. So $1,500 profit there and uh, the client accepted. I'm going to try to get it for $25,500. It's going to take a little bit of negotiating. We're going to see if we can uh, get that $1,500 profit margin to $2,500. But by the amount of people that can source that watch, I think that I've got a little bit of leverage on it. We'll, we'll see if we can make this work. Hello? How are you? Good. How are you? Good, good. I wanted to ask you just a couple of questions and then try to get this closed out with the Omega sure. uh, Speedy. This is the all gold one. Mm -hmm. You said it's a slider. So like there's no scratches or dings, nothing like that. Not from my, what I saw. It's definitely a slider. Is this the absolute best price or is there some negotiation? I'll be honest. I, I got more quotes on this than probably any watch ever. Now everyone else had brand new ones, minus 30%, minus 35%. Yours was a little bit cheaper, uh, but obviously it's a 2023. I'd like to try and be in it just a little bit cheaper. I'm not going to lowball you and say like 24, but uh, do you think we could get to like 25? Uh, let's check my cost. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, perfect. I can do that. All right, well, if we can do 25, then we can go ahead and Mazal, and I'm happy with that. Is it possible if I send you label for Saturday delivery, could I get that received tomorrow and then pay on Monday? We've done some business before. Uh, I'm okay with that. If you can give me um, reference. Uh, let me see. What do, what do we do? I bought from you. Oh, no, let me look at my... Yeah, wire to you. Uh, 19300 It was back in February. It was a Pepsi. Mm -hmm. Do me a favor, send me a few references and uh, email for the details for the invoice. I have it. Yeah, that's cool. Who do you want? Uh, Texas, Miami? Just throw, throw it at me. And if I know them, I'll reach out. So he's local to me. You know Marco, right? Mm -hmm. I've done deals with... Uh, I could just run a reference check as well. I mean, whatever you're comfortable with. You said... If I, if I message him, he'll, he'll, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, if you, if, okay. Yeah. If you message him, he'll, he'll say good to go. Okay. No problem. Yeah. Send me a label and I'll send you the invoice. Okay. That sounds good. Thanks, Anna. All right. Thank you. Have a good weekend. All right. You too. Bye-bye. I was expecting her to counter, um, uh, and do 25, five. Uh, which is really where I was trying to land, but obviously I'm happy with 25. What turned into a little bit of a smaller profit deal turned into actually a pretty good profit deal. There was still some risk there. She could have said, I have another buyer actually. And so I'm going to go ahead and deny that. And I'm just going to sell it to him. And then I could try to be like, well, I'll take it for 26.5. Like that very easily could have been the case. If that were to happen, I did have a backup plan where I could at least break even getting the client a 2024 brand new. Double what our profit was originally going to be. I'm very, very happy with that. I actually have another client calling right now. We were having some issues with a bluesy that we sourced him. The screw keeps coming out and he's kind of getting frustrated with it. Let's see what this is about. Hey, Johnny, how you doing today? Not good, man. What's going on? My truck got broken into. I need that seat for the a Mariner. If there's any problems with anything, I will talk to anybody. I will talk to any insurance company. I'm, I'm on your side. Let me know what you need from me. I'm sending the paperwork right now. I told him the value on it's around 20 grand. Yep, I'll put, I'll put 21. All right. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you, brother. Client uh, apparently just had his truck broken into and he had his watch stolen. He does have insurance, which is good. This is not the first time this has happened with a client. We had another client whose car was also broken into and a watch was stolen from him. People aren't going to steal something off your wrist. It's, it's unlikely to happen. What they will do is they will break into your car. They'll try to get it when you're not there and when it's not on your wrist. All right, fellas, I got a few watches I wanna show you over the next couple of minutes. Three different pieces, three different styles, three different price points. This one right here literally just walked through the door 30 minutes ago, 
haven't even processed it in our system yet. It's not on the website, but that one is available via consignment. I'm excited to show you that one. This one right here is in a large Rolex box, if you can't tell. Uh, it is one that we got yesterday, and it has already been sold, already connected to a buyer. That one sold for sub $90,000. And then the one I have on my wrist, I've had for a few weeks now, and we are ready to make a good deal on it, ready to move it. Let's start with this one. This is a Platinum Day Day 218 206, 41 millimeter. It is a 2017 for $52,000. Yes, you heard that correctly. I will say it again, just so we're clear, $52,000. If you were to buy this watch anywhere else, you're gonna be spending nearly $60,000. I'm ready to move it. I'm ready to get it to a new happy client, get it on the wrist. So if you've been wanting a day date, if you want a platinum, this thing is so heavy. If you've been after that ice blue dial, this is the watch for you. Call the number on the screen. 469-747-2442. I'm gonna leave this beauty right here so you can just kind of keep peeking at it while we uh, move on to the next two watches. We got a medium box, we got a large box. We'll start with this one. Uh, but man, it's just so hard for me not to open this and just look at this beautiful piece. Oh, large box means it's gonna be precious metal. We'll get to that one in a second. Nearly $90,000 watch, so don't go anywhere. But let's start with this one right here. So this is a 40 millimeter Yacht Master with the rhodium dial, blue letters. It's a 126622, it's 2023. Now, if you follow us on Instagram at Mike and Josh Official, you probably have already seen that we have had this one that just walked in. We got this available for 14250. This right here, guys, is a, what I would call a secret watch. It's priced well, you're getting a platinum bezel, center polished links, uh, the rhodium looks very, very cool. We also have a blue Yacht Master. Same watch, same model, different dial combination. Both of those watches are just fantastic pieces. This watch is 2023. It is uh, on an Oyster Flex band. It's white gold. Dude, this is the 116519 Daytona with the meteorite dial, probably the Oyster Flex band, and again, in white gold. I hope you can see the light reflection variations that are on this meteorite dial. Uh, it's such a cool, cool texture the way that the light hits it. So we have this fan of the channel who's been watching us for a while and uh, he's a local guy. And he reached out to us and he said, hey, do you still have that rose gold meteorite Daytona? And we said, no, unfortunately it's already been sold. He's like, oh man. He's like, I wasn't gonna buy it. He's like, I have the white gold version. He's like, I just wanted to come by to compare the two and see them side by side. And we were like, well, we haven't shipped it yet because the guy who bought the rose gold meteorite was on vacation at the time. He wired us the money because he wanted that piece. He said, hey, hold it for me. Here's, here's full payment, but don't ship the watch. I'm overseas for the next two weeks. I'll be back when I return. Then you can ship it you know, to my office. We said, okay, that works. And so uh, we still have the watch in hand. So we came over, we looked at the watches and we said, hey, you wanna go grab some dinner? So we went and grabbed dinner uh, down the street at Moxie's, you know? He really didn't wanna sell this piece. When we're sitting there and we're chatting and we're talking about numbers and everything like that, I think the realization hits him that, he goes, man, I could sell you this watch and I could double my money. You know, more than double, you know, a little bit more than double his money. And we're like, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna pay 80,000, a little over 80,000 for this, and I'm expected to sell it for a little bit under $90,000. And as he started to sit there and he's eating, you know, and you know, having something to drink, it was just kind of like, I think the realization of that profit hit him. And so he was just like, man, as much as I love this piece, I'm, I'm willing to sell it. And so we're like, all right, let's do it. Right then and there in the middle of the restaurant, you know, we, uh, we shook hands on it and uh, we was all on the deal. This is what we do guys. Our expertise in this industry is acquisition and then disposition. And we do that all the time. We acquire these pieces through buying them from retail clients. We source them from other dealers. We, uh, we sell them for you on consignment and we find the buyer. We have retail clients. We have some wholesale dealers that we will we'll sell watches to. And then we have our exclusive connections where pieces like this, we, we offer them to some of our VIP clients. We're happy to make our margin on it, and we're excited that we made this client happy, and we're excited for the client that's gonna be getting this watch who's really wanted it, and he's getting a good good deal on it. So just under $90,000 for this piece. And uh, those are the three pieces I wanna show you guys. Again, you got the Platinum Day Date, you've got the uh, Meteorite Daytona, and then this Yacht Master. That's just a few watches and a few deals that are going on today. Uh, this is not the, you know, the, exhaustive list of things that we've had going on this week. Uh, we've actually got a few more boxes that we're gonna be uh, opening up and showing you what we got in. So let's take a look at those. All right, like Michael just said in the last segment, we're gonna be doing some unboxings. Please excuse my desk mess. Sticky notes, man, that's, that's what I use. I put things in my phone, but I immediately put them on sticky notes first. 
then I transfer them over. I, we have a lot of uh, business owners, CEOs that watch the channel. So I'm curious what you guys do. Do you guys use notebooks? Is it your phone? Do you have a tablet? And, you know, I just kind of curious. I don't know. Um, we got two unboxings. Now, looking in the comment section, most of you love the unboxing ratings, which I appreciate. I, I have fun with it. Some of you hate it. I am here to say officially, I will not stop doing these. Some of you think that there's not a scale, that there's not a system, that there's not a breakdown as to how to properly score them. And I'm telling you right now, there actually is. I know the client that is sending this in, and I know the watch. And right off the bat, right off, great client, buddy, forgive me. This box is humongous. This is humongous. This one is the perfect size. It could be a little bit smaller, but this is a huge box, which means that we are in the tear. Not a good, not an amazing start. Security of the watch is more important than the packaging, but the packaging is still going to be rated. I would rather you over package than under package. I've never seen this in my life. There's a few of them. Holy moly, man. Watch protection, 10 out of 10. This is fantastic. I'm not going to deduct too many points on that, but I will say it's a little bit of, of overkill. Let's go ahead and open this up. Now, there's not too much tape on the front or on the edge. I like that there's some packaging on top. This could have been shipped by itself. You know, I would say the packaging isn't too bad. I would say overall, I'm gonna rate it a 6.4 out of 10, which is very fair. Very fair, not too bad at all. Okay, let's go ahead and see what we got in. It's a 6.6. The rating just went up. Rating just went up because we had a little bit of protection there, which I love. All right, 6.7, because we got some wrapping in there. That's fantastic, I love that. Congratulations to the to the client, a little nice surprise there. So it looks like we have a stickered back, uh, case back, which is amazing. Inspect the full condition of this watch. Wow, first glance, bezel, phenomenal condition. If this is your first watch to ever buy, you'd have to be very careful because the bezel can get those scratches and that can't really be repaired. You have a stainless steel watch, it just has a platinum bezel. So you kind of get that precious metal. You get a pop of color on the dial, center polish link with a brushed finish, Link, this is amazing. This is such an underrated piece. If it comes to this or the sub, comment in this comment section down below. Would you prefer this or would you prefer a stainless steel sub or a date just? Because all three, you get the date wheel, you get the date bubble. All three are stainless steel. With all that said, here, here's what I think. This is the perfect combination between a Submariner and a date just. M Mike and I actually did a video discussing the differences between a date just and a Submariner, which should you have if you want to choose one or the other? And the opinions seem to be pretty split. I think most people went towards the sub because it's just classic. But this right here, actually, I think is a perfect combination of the two because you get the best of both worlds. This is more of a tool watch. It's a little bit more substantial. It is a 40 millimeter. So if you like bigger watches, it's not a small watch by any stretch of the imagination, but if you like bigger watches, 41, Maybe this is the one to go with. We can talk a little bit more about that a little bit later, but this is more of an unboxing, not a review. So if you guys have been interested in getting a Yacht Master of any type at all, this is definitely the time to do it with us because we have both. Would love to work out a great deal with you guys. You know, if you have worked with us before, you know kind of how it works. You call, you reach out. We love to work out deals with people, man. We, we love to build long-term relationships. That's how we work. We are in and out, in and out. When you think of Alpha Crown, think of this. What does that mean? That means we get a watch in, we get it out. We don't like to hold. Snap, 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 snap. snap. Yeah, we don't, we, don't, we don't like to hold on to stuff. We, we don't buy watches and we don't bring watches in to hold on to them. We bring them in to sell them. If you're interested in that one, reach out to this number. It goes right to me. We'd love to work something out. And we're even more favorable if you want to trade a watch in. So any watch at all, I don't care what it is. If you want to have trade in three Omegas and a Tudor for that watch, hit me up. You may have seen this a couple weeks ago. We had a gentleman come in, trade in a rose gold meteorite Daytona Oyster Flex. It's an 80, 70 to $80,000 watch. He traded that in for Starbucks. So, you know, it doesn't matter what watch we have. It doesn't matter what you're wanting to trade in. Something that's a little bit more casual, something a little bit more high end. You know, you could trade three or four watches to get this one. You could trade one big watch to get this. We'll pay you on top, whatever it may be. We'd love to work a deal out and we'd love to take care of you. Let's go ahead and see what this next piece is. Not too much tape. We have the label right on top, which is good. Oh, this is good. 
What is this? This is the consignment agreement. Bubble wrap on the bottom, devil box, very well protected, very excellent job. So far, so good. There was not a second label on there, which I don't like, that's not good. Gotta have, gotta have a second label. Even if it's on, if, even if, if it's in this one, it's gotta be, uh, it's gotta be outside the second box. Got a little bit more packaging, got a little bit of bubble wrap in here. Is this bubble wrap taped? It is not. That is good. If this was taped, the bubble wrap, I would have to surgically try to remove that. And it was right side up. This was a solid job. This one's actually very, very good. There was no excess amount of bubble wrap. It wasn't too large of a box. It was wrapped very, very well. There was not a second label inside. It was right side up, so that's very good. Honestly, I'm gonna give this one an 8.7. That's like insanely high. Congratulations to the packager. That is amazing. Without further ado, let's go ahead and see what we got in. Boom. This is a 2024 brand new, unworn, fresh piece. Here's what I love about the Explorer ones. A very symmetrical dial, completely uninterrupted. Now I know that people like the date on their watch. I get it. But I will say there's nothing that can beat a beautifully symmetrical dial. If you don't want any flash at all, you want a Rolex that is simple, straightforward, easy. You can wear it with a suit or the t-shirt. This is the watch right here. You get your stainless steel brush finish, white gold, not fluted, but smooth bezel. You have your black dial, beautifully symmetrical, a beautiful Rolex. Why would I buy this as opposed to a Submariner? Why would I buy this as opposed to a Datejust? Well, obviously the answer is price. The price point on this is much more reasonable than what you would find with some of these other watches. If you're willing to expand your collection a little bit and you want it to be a little bit more easy on the budget, or let's say that you're a CEO, a business owner, and you want to reward one of your employees that's been there for 10 plus years, has done an amazing job, has stuck it out, has been very loyal to your company, and you want to reward them at the end of the year and gift them something like this, this is the exact watch for that. And I love that. I love that this is uh, still a watch that's available. And the other thing that I like about this watch is that where it says Rolex is a little bit bigger. Let's say that you're gifting this watch to, to somebody and the moment that they open it up, boom, the word Rolex. The name Rolex pops out right at you. I wanna say that this is the largest text that they that they put for Rolex. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this on YouTube without checking and fact checking. Be be kind if I'm, if I'm off on that. But if you want a Rolex that is a, that's more within the budget, more budget friendly, something that you can gift, this is the watch right here. So we have this one for this price right here. If you guys are interested in this watch, reach out to me, reach out to this number, not just this watch. Any watch that we have, check out our website, check out our Instagram. If you wanna be part of our email list, we put out new arrivals before they come out on the YouTube channel, before they go out on our website. We put new arrivals and things like that. So if you kinda of wanna stay up to date, make sure that you're getting the best deals. If you wanna work something out, you know, reach out to us. So those are the two watches that we got in today. Um, and we're excited to get these moved. This one's consignment, the other is a sale. So we do both. If you guys have been interested in consigning or selling to us, we'd love to do business with you and would love to service you guys and see if we can uh, make it a win-win situation. But in the meantime, we're gonna get both of these watches processed and hopefully get both of these watches sold before too long. The goal is like two to three weeks. So hopefully we can get these things moved. Maybe we'll get them moved tomorrow. You never know. But anyways, all right, we're gonna get these things processed. I'm gonna make a quick phone call here from a referral from a really good client of ours. He said, you know, I got a buddy that is looking for a day date. He thinks his budget is somewhere between 25,000 and 45,000. That's the perfect range for a day date. Really 25 is the lower end, but you can get an older one for around there. So if you guys have been interested in getting a day date, by the way, uh, that's just kind of where you need to budget. Yeah, with that said, we're gonna give him a quick call. I have not talked to him. I have not texted him. I have no idea if he'll even answer. We'll do that in a moment, but just to kind of update you a little bit on some new stuff that we got going on. Yesterday, we had a client walk in, he's a local, and he traded in a mint green date just on Oyster fluted bezel. So it's a one, two, six, three, three, four. It was in almost perfect condition. I mean, total stunner of a watch. If you guys have been looking for a nice uh, date just with a little bit of pop, a little bit of color, and it doesn't break the bank, I think this is a really awesome, really nice uh, choice for that one. But yeah, he traded that in, he got the got the Hulk. The Hulk was a 2020. It was a old card, but 2020 is when they discontinued the 116610LV Hulk. And then in 2021, they came out with the Starbucks. We sold that for just under $20,000. Realistically, we probably could have sold it for around 21, maybe 21 and a half. 
but I don't feel like we left any money on the table. I feel like it was a really fair offer, and um, and we made the numbers work for everybody. We made some money. They're happy, and hopefully we'll make some more money with the uh, with the mint green. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and give a call. We'll see if he answers. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Oh, he texted me. Sorry, I can't talk right now. Do you have a few minutes to chat? If not, let's set up a time for a quick five minute phone call. I always like to let them know, uh, you know, new clients especially, the phone call doesn't need to be 30 minutes. I just need to know what is the budget? What is the watch that you're wanting? And what's the combination that you're wanting? And then do you want new? Is pre-owned okay? Is that acceptable? And then from there, I can I can do my homework, get my numbers, and then throw them your way. Hello, my name is my neighbor. Gave me your number. Yeah, yeah. Hey, how are you today? Pretty good. And uh, he said that y'all are in the, in the Rolex business. That's Yeah, that's right. Uh, more or less. You know, we, we do some other <laughs> brands, but, but Rolex is a big part of what we do. So uh, we're definitely okay. experts in it. And uh, we're the guys to go to when when you need a Rolex. Yeah, if you got five minutes, I'd love to just kind of narrow in. Okay. He told me that you are in the in the market for a, a yellow gold day date. Is that correct? So I went to Peter Peter Andres or something like that a couple of years ago, and mm-hmm. and they said you got to build a relationship and all that. So I did all that, and and I wanted a solid all gold uh, band, and they they had a, a, a they had a date just come in with a gold and silver you know and they asked me hey we'll give you a good deal if you want it brand new and i, I yeah i said that's fine mm-hmm. but what i really wanted is the uh maybe the rose gold uh with uh the black dial gotcha he said he's, he has one but he's not gonna let, he's not gonna sell it to me <laughs> <laughs> yeah that sounds that sounds about right when he has the stuff that he wants uh he, he doesn't let go of it oh yeah um, oh yeah so the one that he has, um, it, it's the black dial with the baguette markers. Is that correct? Is that right? That's what he said. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. But be- it's a beautiful watch. Um, it's a- absolute stunning. I like all the watches, but the Submariners, the Daytonas, you know, the Datejust, the Date Day. What I was looking for is, you know, an all gold watch, a gold band watch. Yeah. Maybe in the in the rose gold, maybe, and uh, with a black dial, of right. course. Right. Right. Uh, any of those in those categories, you know, I'm good with, you know. And I don't know if you have any pre-owned that, that you would have uh, watches in something like that as well. What kind of budget are you expecting to work with uh, for these if, pieces? If, if it's a new watch, probably mid forties. Okay, so so that's good. I think we can hit under there a little bit. If you had told me like twenty or something, you know, then you know some people just don't really know the prices on these, and so they <laughs> they kind of think. No, I, yeah, you you laugh, but. You know, hey, you know, I kind of, I kind of want a day date. What can I get? You know, in the, you know, the fifteen thousand dollar range, and it's like, well, <laughs> we're gonna have to go back a couple decades. Are you stuck on the on the Everose, or do you, or do you want to entertain yellow gold? Uh, or, yeah, or... I'll entertain yellow gold. You know, if it's, uh, if you have a pre owned that the links are still tight. Yes. You yeah. Know, everything looks good on it. You yeah. Know, I, I would entertain a, you know, something not very. Oh, that's course. Right. For the rose gold, they do have the black dial. It's called, well, it's sort of black. It's called the Slate Ombre, but it's a new release. The yellow gold has the black dial with the baguettes, but it also has the black dial with just the regular indices. Wow. You kind of lean towards the yeah. black dial. I, I think to get the best watch for a good solid price where we're not overpaying, you're still going to enjoy it equally as, as you would with any other watch. I think the yellow gold with the black stick uh, or the black dial with the regular indices. I think that right. is going to be definitely going to be the yeah. watch that we should start to kind of entertain. I'm going to send a picture your way. That's uh, it's going to be of the watch that that we're talking about. So um, do you have anything available? I, I have some day dates available, but I, I don't have this one specifically. I'm getting a baguette or diamond indice day date in. I also have a, a day date with a champagne with baguettes. We get them in and out. Did you get that picture? Is that is that the one? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so this is a beautiful watch. I mean, it's not just your, you know, the black dial. It still has that sunburst look to it, which is really, right. really attractive. Um, and I love the contrast between yellow gold and black. I just think it's super cool. I'm going to send you some options a little bit later today. You, th- there's no okay. commitment on your end. There's no commitment. I know we're just kind of having the conversation, but uh, what I'd like to do is I'm going to send you several options. Some of them, uh, I'm going to do that uh, today. Basically, how the process would work is that it, if if one of them is kind of speaking to you and you go, man, that's a great price, that's that's a good year, 
you know, as long as it's mint condition and we're on the same right. page, you know, I, I, I like oh, yeah. to move forward with that. It, the, the, okay. the timeline to get that done is pretty quick. Once I receive a deposit, I could get the watch in the next day. Um, so oh, okay. it, it's very, very quick. But um, okay. we can cross that bridge when we get there. First and foremost, okay. what I'll do is I'll just kind of send some options your way and make sure that the numbers that we're working with make sense, uh, that you're happy with them, I'm happy with them. Um, obviously, I got to make my margin, but, you know, we'll, oh, yeah. we'll, we'll take care of you. Yeah, just let me know what you come up with and, uh, you know, we'll start a relationship. Yeah, that's a, well, that, that's the idea. He's a good friend. Like, he has a client, but we, we go to dinner. My, my wife was actually his realtor. His wife got yeah. us some new baby clothes. So yeah, we're, we're, we're close with them. He wants me to buy a ranch out there close to him. So you should. He said, uh, you need to come out here and buy your ranch. And, you know, so, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. And any friend of an is a, is, is a friend of ours. I'm here to take care of you. That's for sure. So let's get the relationship started and let's get off on the right foot. Okay. All right. Well, sounds super. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. We'll, uh, we'll be in touch. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. All right. Talk soon. Okay. Bye-bye. Cool. Yeah. So I, I love conversations like that because it seems that there's no miscommunication. There's no confusion. Um, you know, he understands the process. He's, uh, you, you, I mean, he said 45, I, I think we'll, we'll hit under that, which is, uh, which is the idea, but he's not shooting for the moon. Um, he understands the market. He understands where he needs to be. If I were to guess, I would say that there's like a 90% chance that this transaction will go through as long as we give them the right numbers and that we're not trying to hit home runs. For watches that are sourced, it's not as if we're taking a large risk or anything like that. I mean, we're just help brokering that deal. So I think we'll be able to, to get this sourced, hit that 5% margin and have a very happy client.